Hey everybody, it's Dustin over at Geekmatics and today we are going to go over how to delaminate a MacBook screen. Um, I posted the solution or a really easy way to do it um, a few days ago and I've gotten constants, uh, you know, how long, I mean just a bunch of different questions so I thought it'd be best to do a video. So here it is. Um, the things I'm going to be using for this is this Lysol power toilet bowl cleaner, 10 times the cleaning power. Um, 10 times more chemicals. Uh, I actually got this by mistake. Somebody had told me how to do this and then I just told my coworker, hey, grab your toilet pole cleaner when you come into work today. We're trying this out and it has been fantastic. So um, that's the brand I use. And then of course I'm gonna have Windex. I'm gonna use the Windex at the end to clean all of it up. And then I'm also gonna have some just ISO. It doesn't have to be the 99% or whatever for this. 91% uh, is fine or whatever. The cheap stuff that you can get from the store is okay. Um, so let's go ahead and get started and delam the screen. It only takes a, a few minutes, so it doesn't take that long. This should be a short video. Unless... All right, guys. So I'm going to do the best I can with the glare here. Um, I, I, the light is needed to make it so you guys can see the screen um, and see the the delamination process and what it looks like now, before and after, all that good stuff. If I take away the glare, then you can't see the screen, so it makes the whole video pointless. Now. The, uh, the anti-glare coating is actually what's failed on here, um, and you can kind of see it peeling up. Now what I'm gonna do first is I'm just going to take my um, paper towel, I'm gonna put some Windex on it, just and clean the screen real quick so you guys can see that this is not just a dirty screen, this is a, a screen where the anti-glare coating has failed. So if I clean that up, you can see the screen looks the same if not worse. All right, so that, that is just with the Windex. Now what I'm going to do, now that you know that the screen is actually messed up, is I'm going to take the toilet bowl cleaner, and I'm ever go, ever so little, just the littlest amount on here, on directly on the paper towel. Did that, yeah, it's open, okay. See, just a little drop. Come on, focus. See, just very, very, very little. Okay, and I'm gonna rub it on the screen. Maybe a little bit more. All right, I'm being too ginger with this stuff. I'm gonna put more of it on there. Just kind of rub it away. And then I'm going to go back with the ISO and new paper towel. And go back with the ISO rubbing alcohol. And you can see already that it is starting to come up nice and easily. And I'm not even really putting any effort into it. And it's already it's you can see just where I rub that a little bit it, it's off completely now I'll just continue this the process and I'm being very careful not to get it all in the edges and everything like that I'm hitting the center of the screen first and making sure I get all of the center done And again, I'm not pressing hard. I'm, I'm literally just rubbing this stuff on it and it's kind of eating it away. And then since it like this stuff kind of makes the screen all blurry and smudgy, I do go back every now and then with the ISO just to see the spots that I still need to get. 
and where it's bad at. So you can already kind of see that it's coming up. I'm actually going to even go with Windex here. Uh, when you go in with Windex for the final time, that's when you really start to see the major difference. But you can already see, again, that this stuff is coming up very easily. And now I'm going after the edges. And again, I'm not I'm not having a lot of it on here, guys. It's very don't want to soak it in this, okay? You're just kind of smearing it around, getting it getting it all over that glossy coating. I say glossy coating, anti-glare coating. That's what I meant to say. here your client's MacBook will smell minty fresh like a clean toilet Up here is being a little bit more difficult than I'm used to. Well, it just rubs away like that in the middle did. And this is again with the ISO, just kind of cleaning off all the chemical. And then I'm going to go in with Windex. One more time. So you guys can see it's starting to come up very easily. That stuff at the top was a little bit more difficult than I'm used to seeing. I think I was just trying to be a little bit more ginger with the uh, Lysol than I normally am because I don't want you guys to be like I put all this Lysol because Dustin told me to in this video and now I have backlight spots or liquid in my else backlight and that is not going to be what I wanted so you can see it's already looking you know much much better I still need to get down here a little bit so I'll go ahead and do that now
And when I'm getting down here, you see I'm slowing down and I'm trying not to touch any, any of the plastics if I don't have to, because I don't want the, the, uh, the cleaner, the Lysol to get down there and damage the circuitry. Trying to get around the corners here, the edges. All right, and again, I'm gonna come in with the ISO. Just clean all the gunk up with my ISO. Saws up. Now we'll come back in with our Windex. Uh, too much Windex. There we go. And bam. Beautiful. Looks like a brand new MacBook. That's what I like to see. All right, guys. So that's essentially how it's done. Shout out to Wes Keener, I believe is how you say his last name. Uh, he's the one that actually showed me this method uh, a few months ago, and I've been doing it ever since. Um, so it's fantastic. I recommend you try it very quick. I, I heard baby wipes work pretty well, but uh, I mean, I've never tried those. People just say it's like a really hard workout. And as you saw, that's pretty easy. Just whack, excuse me, wax on and wax off. Simple. Anyway, this is Dustin over at Geekmatics, and I hope you learned something.